Hey, this is Joe Gilder from Personas, and today we're going to talk about the K system for dummies. All right, now I don't mean this to be condescending. I'm not calling you a dummy. I'm saying I sometimes like dummy explanations for really complex things. Because most of the time, I really just need to know how to use it. I don't need to know all the inner workings behind it. And that's definitely the case with the K-System metering inside of Studio One. The K-System developed by mastering engineer Bob Katz with a K, K-System. I just recently made that connection. So, dummy right here. So, if you open Studio One and you open up the mixer... And if you right click on, so the main output over here on the far right side of every song you ever produce in Studio One, if you right click on the meter, you've got a couple of options. Peak and RMS is the main option, which shows you both the peak levels in blue uh, and then the RMS or the average level in white. That's great, that's super, that's we're all used to things like that. However, there's three K modes as well, K20, K14, and K12. If we switch to K20, we'll see it changes to this red light, green light, yellow light system. Let's talk about what that does. But to make that a little bit easier, I'm gonna add a plugin to my main output. Uh, and there's a plugin inside of Studio One, maybe you didn't know about it, it's pretty handy. It's called Level Meter. So I'm gonna put this in my on my main fader and it does a couple of things first of all it gives you a level meter but if you click in the corner you can resize it to be as big as you want and to be both horizontal and vertical so let's go nice and vertical here and i can switch it right up here from true peak to k20 k14 k12 and even r128 which i obviously don't know what that is okay let's dive in right out of the gate you'll notice this meter looks different not only is it colored differently but it doesn't move nearly as much Check out what's happening. If we look at the peak average meter, you can see the peaks here are jumping up and down, which is really normal for music. Um, but the average level moves fairly slowly, right? It's kind of hovering here around this negative 12 mark below zero, okay? Now, if I switch over to K20, you can see these meters are moving very similar to these white lines here, almost identical almost as if they're the same thing. That's the idea here. So the idea is one of the big problems people face is they mix too loud, okay? So their mix is always clipping and their solution for that is to put a limiter or a compressor on the main mix to bring those clips, those peaks down to keep it from clipping. Not a great approach because you should use limiters and compressors for what they do to the sound and what they allow you to do not to keep yourself from clipping. Now, mastering is different. We put a limiter there to keep that from happening. But mixing, in my opinion, is no place for a limiter. Um, let's save that for the mastering session. Um, but what ends up happening is you end up over compressing everything because your mix is too loud and you use compression to bring that volume down rather than doing what I think is the more sane thing and is turn down the tracks themselves to a more reasonable level so that you're not blowing out your main mix. The K system is an attempt, a very simple and elegant attempt, to help us to do that a little more easily. So here's the dummy version of it. Use K20 for mixing, use K14 for mastering. End of story. So the idea here is it really is a green light, yellow light, red light situation. If um, the signal right now at K20, it basically means the average level at zero on this meter gives us 20 decibels of headroom, okay, in our mix. That means if my mix is averaging a level right here around zero, I've got 20 dB of headroom for those big snare drum hits and kick drum hits and whatever else might happen, um, so I don't have to worry about clipping, okay? There's plenty of headroom there. And the idea here is keep your mix at this level where it's in the green, greenish to yellowish range for most of the mix. The quieter parts need to be there. When you're getting a little bit louder, it goes into the yellow, and then for the loudest parts, let it go up into the red. That's gonna give you plenty of headroom without going nuts. Now you see it's staying in the red right now. That's because this is the loudest part of this song. And so that's where I want it to be the loudest. Um, but you'll notice I still, if we look right here, I still have a couple of dB of headroom and that's because I use the K system meters. I set this mix at K20 and I aim to have the volume right around here for the bulk of the song and then those biggest, hugest last bridge and chorus sections get up into the red. This allows me to, as you can see, I've got no compression on the mix bus at all. 
and I'm not clipping. And this mix is actually a little louder um, than I would probably mix now if I was mixing this over again a few years later. Now, K14 is the exact same idea. It's just moved up six decibels as far as I can understand it. The idea here is we now want to get more loudness out of it. We're going to put a limiter at the end of the chain, and we're going to move this volume up so that we're getting that same thing. The bulk of the song is happening in the greenish to yellowish range. The loudest parts are hitting the red. If it's hitting the red all the time, it's a little too loud. If it never gets to the yellow, it's a little too quiet. Very, very simple, and you don't have to really know what's happening under the hood. I honestly don't know if my understanding of how the K-System works and the under the hood part is actually accurate. I just know it yields me great results. I've used this for years, and my mixes are consistently the same level. My masters are consistently the same level, and I like the sounds that I'm getting. And I very rarely have to play that game that we all play early in our mixing lives where we're constantly clipping the main output and we have to keep turning things down. This really helps. The one other tip I will give you is set your levels of your speakers so that when, when average level is coming through right around here, you've got a nice volume coming out of your speakers. One of the other big problems people face is they can't hear things well, so they turn it up in their mix rather than just turning up their speakers and not clipping everything inside of Studio One. All right, that's it for the K system for dummies to review. One last time for the kid in the back. Use K20 for, <clears throat> excuse me, use K20 for mixing. Use K14 for mastering. K12, no clue. Voiceover, I don't know. And then have it to where the quietest parts of your mix are hitting right around that zero mark where green meets yellow, louder parts in the yellow, loudest parts in the red, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Shring. Meow. Whoop.